Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm gonna do a little haul. Like, I say little, but they might not stuff I bought today. It's like a daily haul, so like what I've bought today. Some of the stuff is definitely not what I typically buy in a day. I will point that one out and you'll probably be able to tell from the title. But I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna start chronologically. I'm gonna buy what I, I'm gonna tell you what I bought first and I'm gonna tell you what I bought last. Yeah. And let's just say I've spent too much money today. And I have receipts to prove it. Like, so many receipts. Some of them don't even relate to what I've bought today. I don't think. Well, this one does. I think they all do. Yeah, I think they all do. So, first off, I went to Tesco. Bought some smart water. Which I've literally not drank that much of. I have drunk other stuff. So don't worry, I'm not, like, dehydrated. At least not in terms of a drink. I haven't drank any other waters today though. <sighs> so let's get some water down. <sighs> and I also bought the Lipton Peach Iced Tea, which I've drank up to there. This is the second time I've had the Peach Iced Tea. It's really nice, really sweet. I like sweet things though, so if you're not a fan of like sweet things then not for you but those are the two things I bought I popped into Tesco quite a few times today three times two different Tesco's though one was like a Tesco Express and then one was a Tesco Extra but then I went to Panland and I bought some Haribo Mauam no, Har no Haribo Ballastics I've got two left I ate some in a lesson underneath my visor because I now have to wear a visor during lesson. College provided it though, so that was great. But I was eating some of these underneath my visor and then I ate some in the library whilst I was doing some work. But I bought those after I bought the drink. And then next time I was in the Tesco Express, I bought some brownie bites. Now, what I'd like to point out is that Tesco's brownie whites are so much better than T Asda's. I had some of Asda's last week and I found that Asda's were a bit on the dry side and I bought them probably around the same time of day, I think. Yeah, probably about the same time of day, so it's not as though it's I bought one later than the other. I just think Tesco do it better with their own version of, like, little... Mm treat bites so like brownie and then the tesco cookies are really good as well and also i'm pretty sure their flapjack is really nice as well so yeah how much does that cost oh i think i'm missing i'm missing a receipt or did i see them but the ballistics were a pound yeah I need to find the other receipt because I'm really interested. Well, the water was 75p. I think it's gone up. Okay, so the water was actually 70p. I think it's because I was originally thinking about how it used to be 60. And then the Lipton was 125, which is cheaper than a Coke. I seem to have lost my Wilco receipt, however I know how much things costed in Wilco. They're a lot easier because they were round figures. And oh, it's so good to be home because I've literally only just got home. Like, I only got in like quarter past, so yeah. Let's make sure I can see everything. So yeah. Oh no, I have got the Wilco receipt. I think it's just the other Tesco receipt I don't have. No, I've just showed you the other Tesco receipt. Oh well. Turns out I have all receipts. But, so yeah. I've spent a lot today. Too much. This isn't a typical day of spending, I promise. So yeah, I spent 195 in Tesco. 
in the morning then the pound in Finland so I bought 2 then I went to Tesco again Tesco Express though well same Tesco and I bought the brand new bikes which were 195 so it's what £2.95 £3.90? No, £4.90. Yeah, £4.90. Yeah, £4.90. Then we went into Wilco and spent four quid. And in Wilco, I bought a notebook. Oh, God, I almost whacked my face in with that. But I bought a notebook and I brought one of their, like, one pound paddle brush is because the one i i've got a paddle brush like a sec like an oval one and some of the ends have come off and i don't use my paddle brush often so i didn't want to pay like the seven pounds you'd have to pay at tesco so when i saw this whilst i was in Wilco, it was perfect and i have used this when i got in because my hair was a bit knotty and i did straighten my hair today how long i do makeup wow i actually put an effort but then i also ran out of um primer so yeah i paid a pound for this i don't know how good it's going to be but for the amount of times i use a paddle brush i'm not going to be too bothered if it only lasts me like 10 times like 10 brushes and then it breaks on me or some of the balls come off i'm not going to be too bothered like i will be bothered but i won't yeah but then the notebook was three pounds i've had wilco notebooks in the past so for example last year my notebook that said legom on it i got from wilco this was the only one this size that i could get and it has 200 pages in so it will do me perfect because i'm I feel like I'm getting close to the end of my current notebook, which I got from Tesco, which is £4. Yeah, £4 for 160 pages. It was pretty, though. I will say that. And... Granted, I still need to finish some notes off. But I've got, like that much left which still looks like a lot but I know that by the end of the week I'll have passed that and so I won't have long left and so I bought this whilst I was in the city I call it it's referred to as in town but yeah so I bought it whilst I was there because I knew that I could get it cheap, more pages cheaper at Wilco and they do pretty designs so yeah it's very pretty and I needed a new notebook ish I did but I didn't and I like the spiral ones and I like A4 if I wanted to go for A5 then I would have had no problem because there was plenty of like A5 ones but there was literally only one A4 but I don't like writing in A5 because it's sort of like I'm having to flick over pages so, so, so often. And I don't feel as though you get as much writing space. So you're going to have to keep like purchasing more. So I didn't buy an A5. But it's personal preference. Like I have a friend who writes with A5. But then I have people who write with A4. Again, it's personal preference. But will I do good no books so yeah then i went into the tesco extra and my tesco extra has done a change about so for example when we walk in on the right side usually i'd walk through like homeware stuff and then clothes would be like towards the middle whereas they've switched them around now which isn't a problem at all oh 
last day I was there, I bought some fluffy socks. Not for me though. Christmas present for my nana. She wanted some fluffy socks. And I thought I couldn't go wrong with like some black and basically grey. There was like a thread. Not from this though. <sighs> basically, yeah. Can't go wrong with some like black ones. And there's some like ones that have got like speckles of grey, white and black in. So perfect like I could have gone for a softer material but I've got some that are that soft material and I feel like they're always like slipping down like the trainer socks but they're very soft material so they slip down my foot and I have to keep pinning them up so I didn't go for those ones but I thought yeah and also currently for club card holders Tesco have the 25% off so instead of getting these for a fiber i got them for 3.75 yeah i got them for 3.75 basically in tesco extra i spent 18.75 so yeah expensive yeah and then i bought this box it's like spiky on the inside and it's also squeaky I'm not going to squeak it really loud. And it's for my Nana's dog. I don't know whether I'm going to give it to him for his birthday or Christmas. Because he's got his birthday in a week and a half. His 10th birthday in a week and a half. Jeez. And so. But I'm seeing him at the weekend. So. I'm going to have to give him it then. And it's really hard. Like you know how you get those like if you have a dog you know how you get the toys with like the spiky like the spiky balls it's like that on the inside and I can't really show you but you can tell if you were to feel it but I don't know whether I'm going to give it for him for his Christmas or birthday and then I got him this again don't know whether it's Christmas or birthday I couldn't put everything in my bag so I was literally walking home I literally walked like 20 minutes half an hour home with this in my hand could have taken me not as long but I'd been walking so much that my, I was getting tired and so I was slowed down but I bought this it's like soft and there is a squeaker there's one squeaker in the inside so yeah and I thought it looked really cute and yeah and even though like he'll like play tug of war with it and everything he's not because he's a small dog like he's only a Yorkshire Terrier he is not gonna like pull on it compared to a Labrador so yeah and then I bought this for my mum's friends at Labrador it's a mouse it's the same as the fox it again squeaks <coughs> so <coughs> yeah and I just thought I'd get her this. She is a Labrador, so she needs something a bit bigger, a bit thicker, and something she's not gonna get through as break as easily. Granted, this head will probably come off within like t two days, but I got it, and it's cute. And all each toy was five pounds each, and yeah. Let's just say I have bought too much, I have walked too much, and I'm now going to have a break tomorrow, but I'm not going to have a break because I've got assignments to do, and I should probably catch up on some notes, and like some notes I need to finish from like lessons, so yeah, but that is like my everyday haul. I still have videos I need to edit, like vlogs and that, but I want. I thought this would be like an easy video to film, chilled, and yeah, so. I've got an Among Us video coming sometime soon, I don't know, I just need to do the voiceover for it. And maybe edit the gameplay footage, I don't know what 
I have had for gameplay footage so yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys